Hey, it's me. I'm back again with another. Dang it. I've been trying to get this unicorn to stay just because I thought it was cute. Nope, okay, it's not staying. Bye. Anyway, hey, it's me. Again, I'm back with another video. It's just a video. <laughs> so I recently, you know, you. So you know how you have those days when you realize you have time to yourself and you can just sit and you can just watch something, but you don't want to watch like something you've already seen, you kind of want to watch something new. And I had one of those days recently and I decided, hey, I'm going to start a new anime series. So I went on Netflix and I looked under anime and I have been getting so many requests like, you need to watch The Seven Deadly Sins, you need to watch The Seven Deadly Sins, oh my gosh, it's so good, watch The Seven Deadly Sins. So I was like, okay, okay, I will watch The Seven Deadly Sins. I couldn't get past the first episode. I just, I couldn't. Like, I don't know if I've just been spoiled with like good animes like Full Metal Alchemist and Attack on Titan and stuff like that. You can leave your co your opinions in the comments below, but I mean, I like those animes, so. Anyway, I couldn't get past the first episode because it was just, no. So I'm in order to kind of get my point across, I will compare and contrast it with an anime I watched right afterwards called K. Literally, it's just called K. And I don't know if, how many of you have seen that anime, but oh, it's such a pretty anime. Anyway, so to compare and contrast these, when I first started both of these animes, both, both of these anime, so I started Seven Deadly Sins, and it starts off with this long thing about the lore, and you know, this is what happened, these are the Seven Deadly Sins, they have this legend and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, that's interesting, okay, that sounds cool. But then it just kind of, like, as soon as that lore ends, and it does like a theme song, so you're like, okay, you're getting pumped for this, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it starts with a shot of like this rusty armor walking across, you're like, okay, what is that, who that? You know, I mean, uh, to start off my complaints though, it's just so basic looking. I know that sounds weird, but like, if you were to watch, say, Full Metal Alchemist, the opening scene of that, of uh, Brothers, let's go with Brotherhood, because that's one I've watched like five times. The opening of that, it does give you the basics, like, oh, this is alchemy, this is what it does, this is why you can't do human transmutation, stuff like that. It does basically the same thing as Seven Deadly Sins, and then it has an opening shot of, you know, Ed and Al, and you don't get any backstory on them whatsoever. You just see these characters, and you're just like, what? Who are they? Why is that one person in armor? What's going on? And so it gives you the questions you want answered. Whereas with Full of Death, Seven Deadly Sins, I was about to say with a Full Metal Alchemist, nah. With the Seven Deadly Sins, it opens up on this kid running a bar. And you're like, okay. But then all the questions just kind of keep getting answered. Where it's like, oh, who is this kid? How, why is he so young and running a bar? It's like, oh, I just run the place. I run the place because I have a sword. Uh, I have a pet pig that talks. Like, okay. That's kind of where it lost me. The, I've tried watching it twice. That's where it lost me the first time. As soon as I saw the talking pig, I left. I was like, nope, I can't do funny sidekick animals. Like, that's just, that's too Disney for me. No offense to Disney, but I don't like talking animals. Though. Talking pig happens. And then we're basically introduced this character who has no personality. He's just constantly smiling and making jokes. I'm like, okay, that can be a personality, but he's kind of a jerk, but he's kind of not. He's kind of mysterious, but he's kind of not. He looks very basic, blonde hair. He looks, if you were to take him and um, Oz Vizalius from Pandora Hearts and put them side by side, he looks like a dumbed down version of him. He just has slightly spikier hair and different pants. He has the same tie, the same vest, without the details. Everything's just very basic. Everything's just one color. You know, he has a black vest, that's it. No details on that whatsoever. He has a white shirt, that's it. No details. A red tie, that's it. No details. There's no little details that kind of leave you like, that looks cool, just kind of draw you in, give you something to look at. Now, even his sword, his sword's handle is these intertwined snakes. That should look really cool, but it doesn't. It just, it's kind of there. I don't know, maybe if it's because the animation isn't all that great and it's just kind of basic looking or what. Anyway, continuing on, this armor that you saw in the beginning stumbles into the bar and it's just moans like, oh, the seven deadly sins before passing out. And everyone freaks out. They're like, oh my gosh, seven deadly sins are here and they leave. And this kid's reaction is nothing. He just walks over and is like, hey, what is this? And you're like, well, okay, is he confused? Is he weirdly calm? It, like, give me something, kid. I can't read you. 
And then of course, this is where it lost me the second time. Well, it almost lost me. I forced myself to keep watching this. I wish I hadn't. Remove the helmet and it's a pretty girl inside. And not just a pretty girl, a pretty basic anime girl. Most basic anime girl you can get. She's got the big eyes, big boobies, and a big booty. And she's got, you know, the long hair with the cut across bangs. No details on her outfit whatsoever. It's literally a black leotard that's all she wears. And I hate that because I was like, you literally are just giving me a set of boobs to look at. Like, I don't want to look at that. I want a character. And her voice is so irritating. It is, it sounds like a girl. It sounds like a girl, luckily, who took a mic sitting there and went, and then we walk through the forest. Like, literally, it's that high pitched, you can tell it's not her natural voice, and it's so, it gets on my nerves. That's the, this is within like the first couple minutes of the anime. And that, that's what lost me the first time. It's like, I couldn't stand it. Whereas, K, the first couple seconds of the anime is this group of very diverse looking characters. You've got one guy with spiky hair that looks very, you know, punk. You've got this guy with a beanie and a skateboard that looks more punk rock. You've got those professional people on the other side. They're all just walking in silence. No words are being said. They're just walking. And they, the way they look around and the way that they move and then the two of them slowly split off. It's like, what's going on? You already have questions. You're already interested. These characters look interesting. You want to know more about them. Why does that guy have a cigarette? Why does he have a skateboard? Why does he have bags under his eyes? Why does he look old? Why does he look young? Why does he look professional? Why doesn't he? There's contrast there. And the animation is beautiful. You get to see scenery. You get to see characters moving fluidly. And there's kind of like these lens flares here and there just to kind of like set a mood of like this neoir fashion. But not with Seven Deadly Sins, everything's just so flat and basic and just there. That's it. So, to continue with this anime, you open back up with, you know, he took the girl out of the armor and he's got her on a bed. And literally, for no reason, he just kind of looks her over and decides to squeeze her boobs. Like, you're taking the most basic, like, oh, well, anime characters do this, so there way these people have to do this. Well, no. Okay, say, like, Let's take a, like a pervy anime character like Moroku from Inuyasha. He would sometimes squeeze a girl's butt. And that's what he would do because he was pervy. That was his character. But you kind of couldn't help but kind of like the guy because every time he did, he would get slapped and, you know, beaten or something like that. This guy literally does this with no repercussions. The girl just wakes up and she's like, oh, hi. And he's like, oh, I'm checking your heartbeat. Yes, because that's where the heart is located. And she just sits there like, oh, okay. Like, that's not... No, I want some personality from this girl. Is this girl feisty? Is this girl stupid? Is this girl smart? Nothing. You get this deadpan, okay, throughout the whole thing. And she has, she has no personality. He's got no personality. They have no chemistry whatsoever. She's like, oh, my father the king is in prison, and so I'm gonna look for the seven deadly sins because, oh, plot, plot twist, these knights that you thought were good are actually evil. Which they could have saved that plot twist and made it really good later on. But no, they just give it to you in the most basic way. And the characters' reactions are so basic. Oh, I thought these guys were good. I guess they're not. It's just, they just sort of give everything to you. When you're telling a story, I'm not, like, judging by my previous video about fan fiction. I'm not a very good storyteller when it comes to writing, obviously. But I know how to receive a story. And when you give me just flat basics, that doesn't do anything. Like, you can literally tell me, hey, this guy's a knight who killed somebody. Like, even that, that leaves a mystery. It's like, okay, well, who'd he kill? Why he killed him? But if you say, hey, this guy killed a peasant because he stole a loaf of bread because he was hungry, then it's like, okay, that's kind of sad, but you gave me everything I need to know, so why should I care? You know? And like the opening with Kay, there's, they're walking, and then there's the guy, and then you, it pans down, there's this little girl by his side who's looking through a marble, and you're confused this girl why is she looking through marble and it's not like oh la 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 i'm looking through it's like she's looking at something but you don't know what you know give us some mystery give us some plot give us some personalities here i just oh i literally when i went when i was watching the seven says i skipped around i skipped to the very end and i felt like i missed nothing because i'm like okay they got attacked by some dude randomly 
and then he has some sort of magical power that's not really explained. It doesn't look cool when he uses it. And the girl's just kind of like, oh my gosh, and then they leave, and that's about it. And it's just like, I felt like I missed nothing by skipping to the very end of the episode. I missed 90% of that plot in that episode, and I felt like I missed nothing. Nothing interesting happened, no interesting characters were introduced, nothing. And like, you're probably saying, oh, but like, you know, you can't judge an episode by, you know, the anime by the first episode. You know, how, what would it be like if you judged Fullmetal Alchemist by the first episode, you know? Okay, yeah, I'll grant to the original Fullmetal Alchemist first episode, a little, little too much comedy and not enough, you know, plot. But like, at least it kept you interested. It gave you a world. It gave you magic, it gave you alchemy and characters and, and societies and different cultures. And with this, it just felt like a very, basic medieval like medieval time stories are very basic already you don't need to dumb them down anymore we already know okay there's knights and there's probably wizards and magic okay what else we've seen that done so it's just i don't understand why people like that anime if you do good for you you can sit through something i can't and you like it you go for it you like that plot and I wanted to like this anime, in all honesty, because I've seen cosplays where I met that these really cool characters, this guy like with white hair and a red suit and like super crazy looking. That looks really cool. But if you can't even set up your main character, then that just kind of sets precedent for the rest of the series, in my opinion. Anyway, I never thought I'd rant this long about an anime. What has my life come to? So in conclusion, you know, there's good animes and there's bad animes, and Netflix, try harder. I can tell you're not trying. You are just giving us a basic story from what's probably a really good manga. I haven't tried it, reading it yet. But you're just giving us these bland basics and throwing in just these bland basic anime tropes, and it's just like, okay, you're like, oh, big boobs, check. Guy who touches boobs, check. Talking animal, check. You know, basic quest, check magic weapon check you know what are these things we need to know anyway in conclusion of this conclusion yeah check out K it's a good anime it's really pretty it's really well done there's you know it's not flawless but it's a heck of a lot better than seven deadly sins in my opinion if I am misrepresenting this anime at all and if there is good in it that I am skipping let me know in the comments down below I would love to be proven wrong because I'm looking for some new anime to watch and um, if you got any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below as well. With that said, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!